Welcome to Siva Labs. I am happy to share that I am going to start a new Spring Boot with Kubernetes tutorial series. Spring Boot is the most widely used framework in the Java world. Though there are some new frameworks like um, Quarkus and Micronaut, still Spring Boot is the most widely used framework. Also, these days, most of the organizations prefer to package their applications as Docker containers and then run them on some uh, Docker orchestration platforms like uh, Kubernetes. So I think this Spring Boot with Kubernetes tutorial series is going to be really helpful for those who want to learn these two technologies. So what is the goal we are trying to achieve through this series? So these are the things that we are going to do as part of this entire series. First, we are going to build backend REST API using Spring Boot. Also, we are going to build the front-end UI using React.js. Uh, to be precise, we are going to use Next.js, which is a framework built on top of React.js. And we are going to uh, set up a local development environment using Docker and Docker Compose so that anybody can simply clone the project and run it without having to uh, have a lot of manual setup. So we are going to use Docker Compose for uh, setting up the uh, application dependencies and then be able to run very easily. And finally, we are going to set up a Kubernetes cluster and then deploy our application into Kubernetes. Uh, for local uh, development, we can use uh, Kubernetes tools like Minikube or Kind to create a cluster and then run the applications. But as part of this series, we are going to learn a lot of things uh, in each area. Like if you talk about backend, we are going to build this REST API using Java 17, Spring Boot, and PostgreSQL uh, Maven build tool. We are going to use Spring Data JPA for talking to the uh, PostgreSQL database. And we are going to use Flyway for database migrations. And also we are going to generate uh, Swagger documentation using Spring Doc Open API specification. And also, we are going to learn how we can use test containers library for writing integration tests. Also, we are going to leverage GitHub action support for uh, doing CI CD. Uh, we might not be doing CD uh, continuous deployment, but we are going to do the CA part where as soon as you commit any new feature, we are going to automatically run uh, uh, unit tests, integration tests, and then if it is on the main branch, we are going to build the Docker image and publish it to Docker Hub. Next, on the front end side, we are going to build our UI using Next.js framework, which builds on top of React.js. Next.js really brings a lot of convenience like uh, uh, server side rendering and uh, routing. So Next.js makes these uh, features very easy to use. React.js is kind of a core library only, uh, but to build any uh, non-trivial application, we need to use a lot of other libraries like React Router, uh, Axios, Red Axe, things like that. Uh, Next.js kind of a, uh, provide some of these features as part of the framework itself so that we don't have to glue all those things by ourselves. And we are going to use Bootstrap CSS and Axios library for communicating to the backend uh, API. And while uh, going through this deployment process, we are going to talk about what is Docker and Kubernetes, how we can package our applications as uh, uh, Docker images, um, for uh, Spring Boot applications, there are two ways we can do that, uh, build packs and zip. Of course, we can write a Docker file and then build the image out of it, but there are much easier ways using build packs and zip plugin. Also, we are going to set up our local development environment using Docker Compose so that anybody who wants to work on this application should be able to simply clone the repository and then simply start the application with one command. So, and we are going to talk about Kubernetes. What exactly is Kubernetes? And what is a pod? What is a replica set? What is deployment, service, ingress? Why we need to use all these various uh, components of the Kubernetes? What is the significance of these things? 
So after gaining some uh, understanding of these core components of Kubernetes, then we are going to look at how we are going to deploy our application onto Kubernetes cluster. Uh, we can use Minikube or Kind. Um, I am going to use Kind, but uh, ideally it should work in the same way. Finally, we are going to write the Kubernetes manifest files um, and uh, we are going to deploy our both uh, backend API and frontend UI application on Kubernetes. We are going to use this uh, nice tool called Lens, which is a GUI for Kubernetes, uh, where we can graphically see what are the pods that are running, what are the services, replica sets, and all those details. Also, we, uh, we can see uh, logs of each container. So it is a very good tool to use while you are using Kubernetes. Let us take a quick look at what application we are going to build. So the application that we are going to build is called Bookmarker. It is nothing but a simple bookmarking application where if you find any interesting article you want to bookmark, so you can come here and you can add new bookmark or you can see the list of existing bookmarks and you have pagination right now we have only uh, two pages and you can also search for let's say i want to search for boot so these are all the articles that has boot in its uh, title so these are the simple three use cases we have like uh, viewing the list of all bookmarks using pagination and you can search and also you can add a new bookmark let us say we want to add a quarkus quarkus okay and so that is added and automatically redirected to the uh, list of bookmarks where we can see this being shown here so uh, this is all the functionality for this application uh, it is very simple application intentionally i kept the business logic to minimum so that we can focus on how we uh, build the application backend api and also how to integrate with the front end ui and how we are going to deploy this application in uh, kubernetes cluster so the focus on business logic is minimal but we are going to learn all the parts of uh, backend development front end development and integration and finally deployment to uh, kubernetes the interesting thing is maybe you might not be using Spring Boot. You want to use uh, some other backend API like Quarkus, maybe even altogether a different language like Go language or Node.js. So uh, still some parts of it is uh, still useful for you, like uh, how to build the front end uh, React application and how to package them, how to run. If all Kubernetes care about is a Docker container, right? So it doesn't matter what language you are using. So even if you are using Spring Boot or Node.js or Go language, whatever the language it is. So some parts of this series is still be useful for you. You want to use Vue.js, but still you want to use Spring Boot. Still, most of the content in this series is going to be useful for you. Also, recently I have created a Spring Boot tips series and I have created around uh, 10 videos explaining how to do certain things in Spring Boot framework. Uh, I explained how things work behind the scenes. So I strongly recommend you to go through this series if you are uh, planning to use Spring Boot. I really uh, hope you are going to learn a few things uh, in this series. I'm really excited to make this Spring Boot with Kubernetes tutorial series, and I'm sure you are going to learn something from this. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos in this series, and thanks for watching.